In 1961, an article written by longtime electronic music instrument creator Harold Boda was published in Electronics Magazine. This article was about a device that Boda was working on called a sound synthesizer. In the article, he makes statements like, Application of a subsonic frequency to one input will periodically modulate a frequency applied to the other. And, Application of a percussive envelope to one input simultaneously with a steady tone at the other input will result in a percussive type output that will have the characteristics of the steady tone modulated by the percussive envelope. In short, this is the foundation of voltage-controlled synthesis. The concept of using voltage as a means to operate electronic audio devices was revolutionary. The composers of electronic music desperately sought some means to gain unified control over the electronic devices they used in their compositions, and voltage control was about to give it to them. Bob Moog and Donald Buchla employed the process of using voltage to control electronic music components in the creation of their respective synthesizers. In the case of Bob Moog, it was the ability to control and modulate the oscillator simply and easily that shocked and amazed jazz composer and collaborator Herb Deutsch. Bob's work demonstrated that voltage could be used to control any aspect of an electronic oscillator, filter, or amplifier. This control was the control electronic music composers had been looking for for decades. With developments in transistors and voltage control, an entire electronic music studio could be contained in a comparatively small device and controlled completely. The modern synthesizer was born. The control provided by control voltage defined the sound and functionality of the modern synthesizer, as well as formed the foundation for modern synthesis. We're going to explore what control voltage is and how it works. Using the functionality of a variety of analog synthesizers, we'll discover why control voltage was so revolutionary and how to use it effectively in synthesis.